Garrett spoke very, very highly of Drew. Now, you know, everything you have to work out with the dollars is there's another goal. We'll get the equal. Oh, take it back. There was the first one that was waved first off. So they're like you said. I'll say swarm the rest of the time. But bottom line with Westerville. On Joel White, and now the swarmer away. There's a shot in the goal, and we're tied just like that. It's David Earl this time. The Notre Dame product gets the swarm tied up at two. In the 16th season, you can see Cam Holden getting a little bit uh, kind of held up. Brother stuff. There's a shot in the goal. It's a good one from Johnny Paulus again, excuse me, that's Randy Stotts over there, 83 and 93. Six Nations Ontario gets the swarm closer to the Colorado Five. Kind of a tricky shot for Bouquet. Five defenseman, Georgia still has it going now. Paulus gets it down low. There's a shot and a goal for Georgia. Now, again, they're within two. Good movement there by the swarm, Jamie. Georgia Swarm, they got a lot of offensive firepower, and uh, you know, it's a great, great, uh, great hands there and great finish by Jesse King, call it. But uh, you know, the man's got to stay out of the box here. There, there's a goal right there. It's Shane Jackson with the power play goal for Georgia from Johnny Paulus, and the 22 year old has three points as Jackson gets his second of the night. Noble kicks it away from him, and now it's King, outlet pass. And guess who? It's Randy Stutz again, his second of the game. Transition player. When you play, does it, does it feel like the game's opened up a little bit more the last couple of years? It, it feels to me. You know, rookie year, this guy's having a great game tonight, but uh, you know, the ball moves so fast in this game, you never know what's gonna happen. There you go, another one's in the back of the net. It's Jordan McIntosh this time, about back, about fourth. Is there ever any way to stop momentum? Trying to claw back. There's options here. It's Thompson, he'll shoot, and he'll score. And there's Lyle Thompson with his First NLL goal. I like seeing, but what a beautiful play. Three little passes, everybody moving towards the goal. That's exactly what you want. Nice space for Lyle Thompson. Gets it off before the defender could give. That was Cam Holding trying to come down, give a big chop to the shooting end of Thompson. Didn't get Buccos with their great defense. That yeah. has a lot of great chemistry. We're starting to see an abs team to play in this building as there's another goal there that time. Jordan McIntosh. McIntosh. Team chemistry is something I think that you want to see it get, get going kind of ramping up as they see if McIntosh did he step in the crease on this. I don't think he stepped. It would be the it would be the giving up goals. Last year in the third quarter they gave up 61 goals. You're right though. We saw a lot of third quarter runs from opposing teams on this. Runs it off for Stotts and it finally got down low to Paulus, who up late in this third quarter, just 21 seconds to go. Well, and you gotta talk here. You just gotta talk. I don't know. In the quarterback position, gets it over to Tottenham. He'll fire from up top, and there is his first career NLL goal. And I think Bouquet thought he had the center stick where he needed to be, and not enough. Just a major yep. rain delay, unfortunately. <laughs> or lightning delay, just I guess. A, just a slight delay. Here's Matisse, and he'll walk right down Broadway and put it past Alex Bouquet. But now the Swarm, with no doubts, have their first lead of 2016 and their history. Well, we've seen it again. That, that only did he push it off, he moved back across the goal line, and that would be a goal. And there's a goal of the spectacular variety. Flying through the air is Lyle Thompson. It would be his third if it counts, and the lead is back to Georgia. And that should, should count. count. 